Okay, now a diagram considering what if the object on a converging lens is between the lens, or is in between the lens and the focal point. Now, if that happens, peculiar things happen, but the same rules always apply. We draw our lens, we draw our principal axis, and we know our focal point, which is going to be, um, let's say it's all the way over here this time for this particular lens, focal point over here. And we've got our object, which is much closer to the lens than the focal point. Object is going to be here. The rules we follow are always the same. The first one, the first real line, is parallel to the principal axis. It then goes through the focal point, like that. And we'll continue the virtual line out behind it, because we may need that yet. The second line goes through it from the top of the object, straight through the center here, and it continues unchanged. Right. Now this is a bit strange because these two lines haven't crossed, haven't crossed on this side of the lens. And they're never going to. They're getting further and further apart. So what we have to do is we have to look back at the virtual line, so the lines behind this, where they would virtually meet. And what we find is they'd virtually meet all the way back here. So if we continue this straight line, we make it dash now because it doesn't really exist. It's a virtual line, this one here. This is real because they really come through this way. We even notice they cross here, and what we'd end up with is an image of our person here. This image is enlarged or magnified. It is non-inverted. And because it's made with virtual lines, it is virtual. Okay, and that's if the object is closer to the lens than the focal distance, so the distance between the focal point and the lens itself.